Hello, and welcome to the video to show you how to work with this web app for your pre-lab assignment. Here we have probability Venn diagrams. Venn diagrams are a useful visual for looking at probabilities of a number of events. Here we have two events, A and B. A is a little bit more likely to occur with a probability of 0.36, and B has about a 20% chance of happening, and they do have an overlap. We are also provided other probabilities, including the intersection, that upside down U is just for the word and, for the intersection probability. And then we've got a couple of conditional probabilities of A given B has occurred, and the probability of B given A. For your assignment, you're going to be working with this applet and changing some of the probabilities of either the event A or B up, along with moving the slider bar back and forth to notice what happens. I'm going to move it all the way to the left, and once the event B is completely inside of A, we can see that the probability of A happening, knowing that B has occurred, is equal to 1. Because if you know B has occurred, you're most certainly also in the event A. So I'm going to start by trying, making the event A a little less likely. I'm going to move it to 0.22. And then I'm going to attempt to move my slider bar so that I can show that these two probabilities of the A event happening, 0.22, and then A given B has occurred, end up being the same. So I'm going to have to move that all the way over here. And can I get those two events to be exactly the same? I can. Notice that the probability of A happening is 0.22, and now the probability of A given B has occurred is also 0.22. Knowing that B happened did not influence or change the probability of A occurring. And that's when we say that these two events, A and B, are independent. If we check it over here on the other side, the probability of B happening knowing A has occurred is also the same as just the probability of B happening. Independence again. And if you were to take the two probabilities of our events, the 0.2 and the 0.22, and multiply them, the intersection probability here is the multiplying of those two. That's another rule for establishing that the events are independent. So again, for your applet, you're going to be asked to move the black slider bar, change some of the probabilities to help establish and look at a couple of different concepts in terms of probabilities and events.